Hey kids, welcome to Styles Rumble Rigging Time thing. Today I'm just gonna do a little, hopefully quick, I mean I'm really long-winded so it's hard for me to do a quick thing, but I just wanted to answer a question I get about deformers all the time which is, can you use a deformer to control a deformer? And you can! Isn't that handy? So here I've got a little flower, I've got the petals separated, these guys here. I've got my stem separated. Boop. And it's pretty simple. We don't need to do anything too crazy. What I will do actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to copy and paste special these petals and I'm going to make a couple leaves. So let's rename those using our rename script. So what I'm going to do is just have this little flower blow around the breeze. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a sensible hierarchy. Here I'm going to create an extra stem peg because I want the stem to control everything. Remember you can grab two pegs at the same time if you want to move the pivot point at the same time. All these petals, boop, 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 they all have the same pivot point. These two leaves, they have the same pivot point like that. So now, boop, boop, it's all working out. And this big stem is going to control all the petals at the same time. So now our guy is moving around. Boop. Handy dandy. So what I want to do is have the stem be flexible and also have the leaves be flexible. So I'm going to use my deformation toolbar up here, hit my two hammers, and I'm going to make a curve deformer because we all know how I feel about bone deformers. So I've just done a simple 2.1 so I can kind of demonstrate what, what's going to happen here. So what we can do is give our petals their very own maboober here. And I'm going to use the copy paste pivot script that you can get from Cartoon Flow. So copy the pivot point from this, paste the pivot point there, rather than using this because I'm too lazy for that. And then I'm going to tell my deformer to control the petals. And we'll do the same for our leaves, give them their very own peg. Copy pivot, paste pivot. All right. Connect that up to our leaves. And now this is actually working pretty well. Sometimes you can find yourself having problems with the leaves detaching, but this, I mean, it's a fairly simple drawing. We're not expecting crazy stuff out of it, so it's going to work pretty good. But what I want to do now is I want to have these guys do some bendy stuff too. So we can add a deformer to this guy, and then it explodes. You can see it's just, it's done some crazy stuff. And if we animate it, it wants to animate it, but it's it's getting confused. So what we need to do is go into our deformation stem. So this is inside the deformer group. Don't be afraid of this. I did not add, add a transformation switch inside the group, but that doesn't matter in this particular case. We can talk about what'll happen if you need to transform switch in a minute. Inside your deformer group, there's a thing called a kinematic output. We're gonna need that guy. We attach our curve to our kinematic output and then have that go through the multi-port out. So now we've got two things coming out of the bottom here. And the left one, that's the kinematic output, you can put it on the right for organizational purposes, doesn't matter. Now that's going to control the pedals and that'll correct this deformer. So now this can deform as well as this can deform. Hooray! And of course, if you want to add another pedal here, it's hard to add something right in here, so you might need to create it and then slide it down. That's not that's not a problem, so create a thing like this, slide it down, and then correct it. So now our whole top part can blow, and then the petals can also do any kind of deformation that they need to do. So if we wanted this to happen to the leaves as well, we could connect them to our dealy, but now they're separating away from the stem because it's not getting any of the deformer information here. So if you want to do that, where you have the leaves that have independent deformers and the petals, what you have to do is on your stem here, you're going to use our tool again, and we're going to add in a piece. So let's just isolate this. And we're going to see some weird stuff as we do this because it's already been deformed. But you can edit your deformer and put a pivot point right where these leaves are. So we want the, the leaves to pivot around this point, and then we want the stem to pivot around this point. Now inside our deformer group, we're going to have to do a little bit of correcting. because Now we have an extra curve in the middle. That's this guy here. And then we have the curve at the end. So the offset is always this one, this kind of circly dot one. 
That's the offset. And then the curves will come along the chain here in a sensible way. So this middle one is this guy here. We can create another kinematic output to the middle curve. I'm going to put that in the middle just so it makes sense visually. And so now the end curve, this guy here, is the one we want controlling the petals. The middle curve here is the one we want controlling these leaves. So middle one goes to the leaves, and then the end one goes to the petals. So now, now let's select the whole thing and show our dealies here. It's getting a little bit tangly in here, which, you know, that's all you can do. Um, but this stuff's going to work on the top. The only issue is now you have to manage this extra curve. It will take the rotation information here. That's handy to know. But now your petals are going to animate as well, or your leaves. And then you can add a few more down these leaves. And all of your stuff is now deformable. In case you're like, hey, I don't want to ever draw or redraw. I just want a dancing flower with lots of deformers. You can totally do that by using these kinematic outputs. All right, so I've stripped this down. I've got another one here because I want to talk about if you have drawing substitutions. I'm not actually going to draw a bunch of drawing substitutions, but it does make a difference when you're making this setup. So you can do the same thing here. You're keeping in mind that you want to piece down here to control these leaves. Set this guy up. You can even set all these dudes up before you hook everything up. And setting up deformers is so fast, it's ridiculous. So if you like setting up, if you're doing something really simple like this, you just need some little swaying action, then slapping in a ton of deformers can be a good way to go about it. But if you need these to change, say you are hand drawing a bunch of stuff up here, or it changes views, something like that, you can't go about it exactly the same way. So inside of our group here, You'd want your transform switch inside of your deformer group, and then your chain is going to be inside this group. So now instead of the kinematic output, you can still use a kinematic output here if you're not doing a bunch of drawing substitutions, and it'll take it from the bottom of your chain or your middle of your chain. So here I'm going to go inside the inside of the deformer group here. You can have your kinematic outputs like this, but if you're going to have a bunch of these different stems or whatever. You need a bunch of different curves. You're going to want to use this guy instead. This is a deformation composite. And I talk a little bit about this guy in my deformer video back in the old days, but it works inside of it. It has output kinematic only, so it's giving you that option. But here in this kin output kinematic chain, you can select which one you want. So it says rightmost, leftmost, use Connected elements exposure is key. That's just getting kind of complicated. I just, I choose select because then I can select it. And then, boop, it'll work with multiple things. So here, this is attached to the center curve. We would also want one here for the, the bottom curve. But if you're drawing your stem here, let's just go along and make a couple drawing substitutions. Okay, so we've got a bunch of new drawings. So we're going to go to stem two. So you can see we're on drawing two. We're going to add another deformation group. I mean, this is going to be the exact same curve, but if you need different curves, this is what you do. And then inside here, you're going to want that center curve. And the, so whatever the leaves are doing, whatever the petals are doing, and then you can hook them up like this. Boop, boop. So the important thing is that your port here is always connected to your the same one. So here it's going to be the end curve, this guy up here, is always connected to our deformation composite number one. And then our center curve is always connected to our deformation composite without an underscore. Um, and then inside these, the chain output, you can tell it which one you want to use. So the deform transformation switch uses 0, 1, 2. So this guy is 0, this is 1, this is 2. These guys here, this is port one. There is no port zero. That's important to know. There's no way that I know of to link these, but you can link these two deformation composites. So what you can do here, um, but what you can do is link your two deformation composites. So it's a little bit of a convoluted system. You have to make sure it's all connected so that you can find your deformation composite down here. Then you're going to add a keyframe 
If you're ever sharing functions, you must add a keyframe because Harmony. You right click here and then you can share the functions in the timeline view. Bloop. So now inside I've shared this guy. What I can do is grab this guy, the other one, and we can look for a curve. And now this deformation composite output kinematic chain selection is available. So this one now is the boss and this one is going to do whatever you say. So you can just grab this guy here. Oop. You can uh, add your keyframes, boop, 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 and you can adjust these. So if you want port one, then you'd adjust this guy here to be number one, boop. and number two when it needs to be number two, as whenever, wherever you need your things to change. You can also create an external handle for both of these guys, which I think would be the easiest thing to do rather than coming into your deformation group composite thing. But that's up to you. We're getting kind of advanced here now, guys. But the long story short, you can connect deformers to more different deformers. Wee, it's a dancing flower. La, 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 la. You can also select multiple deformers at the same time. Dancing flower. La, 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 la. So thanks for dropping by. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below, whether it's about this or anything else. I'd love to do more FAQs. So throw them questions at me because I have no idea what to do with these things, honestly. Um, and that's it. I've got an announcement coming up soon, I think. But like, share, subscribe, all those things that people ask you to do. And I'll see you next time.